Hello everyone, happy Valentine's Day. I have wanted to do this video this week and wasn't sure when to do it. So now we're doing the decluttering my makeup. Okay, so we're gonna... <laughs> it's just one of my bags, don't worry, I got a few. <laughs> so we're gonna start off with what's in here. And so a lot of this, as I said, is my cosplay makeup. Uh, some of it used to be my everyday makeup, but I changed my everyday makeup routine to be mostly just eyeshadow and like just skin products. It's mostly just like eyeshadow, highlighter, and lip color, that's really it. Or like uh, eyeshadow, highlighter, chapstick. Um, yeah, so I just said like this one's a couple years old. Here's the thing, these used to be a dollar, no, sorry. These used to be 99 cents in Boston where I, where I used to live. Now where I live, these are like 399. Yes, yeah, so this is called, if you're curious, Taupe, a uh, top of the morning, top of the morning. And that's really cute, play on play of words. What you do with this is you put it on your water line and it actually gives you like this anime eye effect and I really like it. It looks better than how I used to do it with like white eyeliner. That used to be kind of strange, but it doesn't rub off too easily. Next, this one is an all time favorite, I wanna say. This was one of the um free birthday gifts from Ulta a couple years ago. It's Urban Decay Beauty with an Edge. And this is a Midnight Cowboy. I love this one. It's great for when I go out. I guess, as I said, this is a couple years old, but I also cannot afford Urban Decay. Um, I usually buy makeup around Black Friday. Like that's like a treat myself sort of thing. So yeah, or if I really need a product, like if it's like an important event or something. Um, like this one is from high school. Forever 21. Uh, it's nice and all. I just, uh, yeah, as I said, it's high school. It does its job. It's just kind of sparkly. It's a light pink. It's not, like, too dangerous for, like, my cheeks because I really don't like standing out. But what I think is that one's nice and all, but what I've been liking more, actually, is my Tarte, uh, my Amazonian clay uh, uh, blush. I like that one slightly better and actually gives me, like, it gives me, like, a blush face. Or like a little, little color. And you can even always go like this to like tone it down if you need to. But yeah, this one I've had for a very long time. Don't mind if I part with it. I have this one from Ulta about a year or two. Very good for steampunk. Yeah, anyways, this is like really pretty. Also good for summer colors because I just like how it works. But I always keep it in here. So I don't have a, a little like container. Just swipe it. Look at that. Let me just swipe it better. It's it's pretty. We have a little visitor. Hi. Hey. Little angel. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I really like that one. It's uh, Eyeshadow China Rose by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Yeah. So that's also really cool because, like, I don't really have anything from Anastasia. <laughs> I got my mom palette about two years ago and she's used it. Oh, it was a birthday gift. And I was like, oh, this is a perfect palette. Even this gift. I forget which palette it was though. Okay, next. Okay, this one I'm still using, as I said. This one is in Parte. This was one of the Ulta gifts about a year ago, I wanna say. This is how it looks. Great everyday color from last year's week. And it's very like neutral, so it's not like too harsh. You can probably see. So it's like really good, blends in nicely. My mom actually used all of hers, so I got her one for Christmas. Next we have, this one is from Sephora. The color, it's called Colorful, it's on sale, $5, long lasting, it's in Stadium Fever, number 277. I really like it, I uh, definitely could do like a Slytherin look, but it's mainly because I love green like this. This green is so pretty, as you see I barely use it, but this is what it looks like. Definitely gonna use it for school. Uh, I have a bracelet in here I made with uh, one of my tutors from high, uh, I think middle school actually, middle school, high school. Uh, if you're wondering why I had a tutor, I learned differently. <laughs> I have my eyebrow plucker. My mom got me this uh, a couple of Christmases ago. She got me like this one, and there's a pink one. And I had an anime girl one. And this is one I got a couple years ago also. I'm not selling this. My mom got me Elizabeth Arden, and that was like really cool. At the time, I didn't really know who Elizabeth Arden was, but being older now, I'm just like, oh, this is so cool. There's that look. So you get the blush. I'm missing the little thingy that goes here. The blush is like, it's, it's good. You know, it's, it's cute. Uh, I've also used the blush as eyeshadow. 
Uh, the gold is good. I've used the gold many times. And then the brown, also kind of good. I haven't tried it for, like, eyebrows yet. Definitely the gold I've used a lot. Can I open this little bag of things? Got this one my mom got me for when I went to uh, Vegas, which is last year. And some of the colors fell out over time. <laughs> These are the ones I have left. <laughs> yeah, so I have, like, the green, the purples. I do want to use this, like, top purple one more. It's, like, a bright purple one. The blacks are good for, like, eyeliner and, like, got the little highlighter one here. So it's kind of good if, like, you can't bring a lot with you. This one is cleaning off. This is a lipstick. I have a lot of lipstick. I have to go through that thing, too. A lot of crazy colors. And you also find it hard to, like, wear, like, bright colors, especially in a way that I have to be, like, presentable or, um, like, office type of wear. Here is this one. It is lipstick by LA Colors. Kind of worn down. This one is called Bright Pink. And you just see, like, it's kind of, like, worn down. It is good. I'll say for the summer, it is quite good. Because you can blend it in. It's subtle. Ta-da! Next one, also the same brand. This one's got, like, worn down. LA Color Lipstick Coral Sheer. Also really good. It's just, this one's kind of, like, sent through the ringer. This is how much is left. <laughs> but it's, all, it's always tough because I can never find the right color I'm looking for later on. Say I get rid of something, then I can't find that same color later. Which is like a pain. Because I'm color specific, you know? Once I get, once I'm used to a color, then it's kind of like, I'm stuck with this color for a very long time. Yeah, this, um, from, I want to say, CVS or Walgreens, something like that. Actually, I think it was Primark. Yeah, it was Primark. We got this one from one of Sephora's birthdays about two years ago. It's Bite. And it's a small, a small baby. It's a very nice color, though. I like this for, like, going out at night kind of colors. So it still has life to, to give because it's not, like, completely old. You also, like, it's good to clean your makeup once in a while, too. Because, like, it, you know, you got to take care of it because makeup is expensive. If, you know, you're a college student. But also, I should say, if you're a person that whose job field, you have these two on my summer lipstick. I should have mentioned that. I thought they so used, too. I should put them upstairs, actually. But I think I'll definitely get rid of this one. I'll save this one just because, like, for now, it's, like, okay for travel. Got the green one. Got a lot of that pigment. You know, like, heart. A little orange dude. Depending on this one. Because, like, as I said, they're kind of expensive. Where are the rest? Or this one. Pop the Maybe this one. It's kind of okay, I guess. This one for brows, but I also use it for eyeliner. This one for home stuff is probably old. You probably throw it away. It does really work some pale. The this one from Five Below. I use it here and there. It doesn't seem to go bad. This one from high school. Um, I should probably get rid of this one anyways because. Yeah. And this one I just got on my um my birthday this summer. This one from Sephora. It's eyeliner. I have this one from about two years ago. It's in uh, I think Fairy. I really like I really like that one. I have a lot of brushes and that's basically it. Yeah. More makeup! But I mean I have a lot of makeup. Look at all this. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, so I'm not getting rid of all this. I just want to show the amount of makeup I do have. And I'll just let where everything is from and whatnot. Okay, so next one I have is Color Mates. This one's a couple years old. This is also one I think that makes my face break out a bit. So I have all these colors. And I use them. I mostly use, like, I've used the white. I've used this one. It's good. Like, they're really good for steampunk. Um, I've used the sky blue and the grays. It's like, you know, it's hard for me to use the blues. But sometimes I feel like blue doesn't always look good on me. But this is also the year I am pushing myself to um, to try color more. I've been pushing myself um, since last year to get more into color. Because growing up, I was, like, never, like, experimenting with color enough. And that's something I definitely want to use. I don't know. It just I wasn't... And I didn't see color the same as I see it now. I worked on it. Next, we have this one I'm still using. 
It's a small pocket edition. I got it one year for Christmas. And I use it every day. And I mean like, okay, what colors do I use? Okay, so it's mostly the sky, um, the, the not sky blue. Is there this one? I've used this one this summer and then these ones I use a little bit for sometimes my eyebrows to line my eyes. The greens, definitely around St. Patrick's Day. I do like the dark greens. I used to somehow, I don't know how I used to wear dark green casually to high school. I don't know how I did it. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of interesting, but haven't done that in a very long time. I would do it again. Sometimes I gotta be careful. I feel like me with moody eyes now, um, like, I give you off the idea that I'm moody. Like if I use like darker colors, I don't wanna like show that I'm moody to people when I just wanna make friends. There's like a difference. Maybe, <laughs> I don't know. It's just like it's too much thought process goes on like behind that. I gotta like wipe this also down because um, after time, it's like even good after a week, whatever. Wipe down your makeup, always wipe it down. You know, I've had this palette for about three years almost. No, maybe two years, yeah, probably two years. So I'm still like getting used out of it. And um, darks are good for like eyeliners. Um, the purple right here is really light. These ones are kind of dark. They're good for like experimental type of colors. The purples here are also really light, so it's hard to use. The blues are pretty good. The yellow is also cool. So yeah, as I said, like, um, when I look at these palettes, every time I look at them, I'm like, I want to do Hogwarts makeup designs. I want to do steampunk designs. I would like to do a mermaid, but like, I don't know. I I want to like just do it one day, like just do a makeup look, post it on TikTok, and then hopefully do more because they're really cool. And I like doing experimental film work with makeup. That was the thing I used to do in high school. Not because I have this one. I know I definitely have to get rid of this one because this one definitely makes my skin react. Um, just because it's really, really old. I got this in high school. I love the bright colors. I think it's, yeah, five below. The red's good. I use it for my clown OC. If anyone saw that, it's kind of disturbing. And I guess people could question me in a lot of ways. Like, why did you do that? What is going on in your life? What, what, how did you make this? In that sort of way. Because it's kind of like crazy. But I also, I watched a lot of clown OCs. And I wanted to push myself, make a scary-ish type of look that could be a clown OC. In the future, I would definitely want to use, like, make a pastel clown OC that's really cute. Um, the green's cool, the yellow's cool, definitely, um, yeah, so like this one, I could definitely do like, each of the houses. This one is great for the summer, uh, it's the Aqua Smooth by CoverGirl. I'm using, I, I wear this to the beach, and I wear this every day now, and actually it's really good for covering your under eye circles. So it's just like, in the winter time, it's not about lack of sleep as much, sometimes it's just like the oxygen, you're just lacking, um, blood or oxygen, one of the two, don't quote me. You just be lacking it here, and it's like hard to undo. It's not about your sleep schedule. I've actually had a really good sleep schedule as of last semester, and I still do. But what it really is is just well, how winter does it with like the oxygen and the blood. So it's really good. I use it all the time. I'm wearing it now. So <laughs> next we have this one. I got one year for Christmas. The pink, the baby pink, is very light. Like that's how light it is. No, no, no. Yeah, it's so light. And I'm so pale. You just don't see it. You go to the navy, and you do see it. And then you just wipe it. That's the purples, you gotta build them up. And I mean, like, really push the thing. Like, pu push. You see? They're, they're, you really gotta, like, push the color around. But it, because I'm so pale, it doesn't really show. Um, and then the other one. Is that how it looks? And then once it's on my skin, it kind of, like, starts disappearing. So maybe I'll also get rid of that one. I definitely like the blue one. That's the thing. I like the blue one. I wear those colors on days that I don't feel much like white makeup. Like, I do and I don't. It's because, like, it's just like I go so subtle. Like, I'll show you how the purple looks. I have a relative color too. But, like, I don't want to go crazy right now. Well, you can just see how. It's almost like plain makeup at this point because it doesn't really go on well. On NYX, uh, I love this palette way too much and it's fallen a few times. <sighs> this is just, I, I love this one too much. Way too much. It's just, it's just like, too many wipes. Just one. Okay, this one I use all the time. It's a good everyday. I bring this palette to school all the time. This one I, I line my eyes with. And this one is for, like, the inside, but also the brow bone. And it's really good. That one I'm not throwing away. That one is, like, I've had that probably since sophomore year of, like, uh, sorry, sophomore year of college. Um, let's see. And then this one I got, I want to say, last year or the year before. Yeah, year before last year, yeah. So Essence, I love this one. I use the purple and blue and pink also. Use this one and this one for my highlighting every morning. Now the other one I don't want to use, they are harder to use. The brown one is cool. I just don't go out at night as much as I used to. Bought this one last year for an experimental makeup uh, performance. 
um, this is how it looks. Um, so I use it. I use this one on some mornings. It just depends, like, what I grab first for highlighting. This one I use uh, at school. It was 